Hi YouTube, I'm Jack, a surgical trainee in the UK and I wear glasses. In today's ENT Bytes, I'll be trying out some cheap surgical loops that I bought from Amazon for about £30. If you're a surgical or dental trainee that wears glasses and are looking for cheap loops, then this is the video I wish I'd watched before I bought mine. I'll be discussing why to use loops, explore some of the features and specifications of them, try them out in different situations, and then give my final review and impressions at the end. I've put timestamps in the description, so just skip to the part that interests you. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored, so I'm giving my honest opinion. At some point during surgical training, you reach a point where your training opportunities are limited if you don't have loops. So I decided to buy some. However, I had two main issues. One, loops are really expensive. They can be up to £3,000. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money up front on something like prescription loops. It's like starting a photography hobby by buying the most expensive camera you can rather than by taking photos. The second issue is that I wear glasses. So my options are either to wear contact lenses and then wear loops on top or get prescription loops at quite a large cost or to buy clip-on loops, which is what I did in the end. And that's mainly because I don't like touching my eyeballs and I need my glasses to look clever. A quick note that you don't always need loops, as some specialties use microscopes instead, or they don't need anything to enhance their magnification. Let's move on to the reviews. So let's look at the packaging. The loops come in this nifty box as a protective case. Inside you have the clip-on loops themselves, some straps for your glasses, and a microfiber cloth. They also come with a screwdriver in there. It's good to have a protective case for it. It's a little bit on the big side, but uh, it does do the job. So the loops are essentially two magnifying lenses of 2.5 times magnification. They're mounted on this frame uh, where you can adjust the interpupillary distance like so. That's mounted on some hinges, which are then attached to the clip that clips onto the glasses. For those of you interested, here's what 2.5 times magnification looks like. The loops have a working distance of 44 to 54 centimetres, which is about how far away you would hold a book. The field of view at this distance is 13 centimetres, which is about how much you would see through the lens. So let's try these on. Firstly, I attach the straps and tighten the attachment to my glasses. Then I clip on the loops. I then adjust the hinges to a vaguely good position, which is usually low in the lens, and also as close to the lens as I can make it. I then put them on my head and tighten the straps. I adjust the height of each lens so that one eye is level with the other. I then adjust the hinges again to keep them low in the lens and close to the lens, and this does help with your neck position so you're not craning too much for the whole operation. Finally, I adjust the interpupillary distance. To do this, you focus on an object at your working distance, such as your thumbs. You move the lenses wide apart with the dial until you see two images. You then turn the dial and bring the lenses together so that the two circles become one, and you're seeing that in binocular vision. This is very similar to adjusting a microscope, so if you've used one before, this will be quite intuitive. A good way to try out loops for the first time is to do some basic tasks like writing your name, Or you can try suturing using a suturing kit. Once you've done these, you can then try out your loops in the real setting in the operating room. So let's cut to my experience of this. So tonight I had the chance to test out uh, my loops in the hand trauma theater. We were repairing a ruptured tendon in the hand on the whole, uh, it worked quite well. There was good visual clarity, uh, good magnification. Uh, the only thing is when I was getting ready to use it, um, it took a bit of time and actually my senior who was on was saying, come on, let's hurry up, Jack. For him, he had loops with um, lenses embedded so he could just put them straight on and he was ready to go. But for me, I had to, uh, to clip this on, adjust it, focus it, and uh, also attach the straps to the back took a little bit of time. Also when I was in the procedure already scrubbed I found I hadn't quite adjusted it well enough and um, the lenses were a bit too high so I had to really crane my neck to see uh, and you can adjust it in theatre but it just takes that extra effort so it did the job but um, it just it took a bit of hassle to put on uh, and to adjust. My first impression is that these loops work really well. Uh, the image is clear and it's focused, and the magnification is definitely good enough for a beginner. 
I was actually surprised at how easy to use they were uh, and how clear the image was. Another thing I notice is that uh, when they're mounted on the glasses, you can't see past the uh, clip uh, or the frame of the loops very well. Uh, this is unlike the more expensive through the lens loops, which just have the magnifying lenses going through the normal lenses. It is quite front heavy, which is expected, and actually even with the expensive loops that are bigger, you'd get something similar as well. The straps do slide a little bit, which I was worried about, but actually, as long as they can provide a little bit of counter traction, then they'll keep them on your face and not in the patient. Another thing that I do note is that the effectiveness and stability of the loops depends a huge amount on your glasses. My glasses are thick rimmed and quite sturdy, but uh, if you had some rimless glasses, I could imagine it not really being stable enough to hold the loops. On the whole, they do feel comfortable enough when you're operating. Finally, onto the ratings. The overall rating I give the loops is a four out of five. For functionality, I give them a four out of five as well, because you can see through them, but um, the clip does obscure the vision a little bit, as I said. For packaging, I give them a three and a half out of five. Um, it's good to have packaging, but it's a little bit bulky because it's a generic package. For convenience, I give it a two out of five, and that's because it takes that extra bit of effort to adjust and to set up, and it can delay you getting into a case quickly. Durability is hard to comment on, but I give it a three out of five because uh, although it looks okay now, it's generally speaking made of plastic. Uh, and I can imagine them over time wearing a little bit. Finally, value for money has to be a five out of five because for what you get, uh, 30 pounds is a really decent price, uh, especially as a surgical trainee. To summarize, the three good aspects are they do the job, they're extremely cheap, and you can adjust them to whichever face shape you have. The three downsides are that the view is obscured a bit by the clip, uh, they do take time to adjust, and they do depend heavily on the glasses that you have already. My final message is that you don't need to spend a lot of money on expensive equipment to get started. In fact, I've even seen surgeons towards the end of their training using similar loops like this. Thanks for watching everyone. Like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful for you. I'll see you next time.